Welcome back to the Grumpy Vet Garage. Um, today uh, we're working on the A90 Supra. I know in a previous video I talked about that I didn't want to put too much carbon fiber on the car. Um, I know the car has carbon fiber uh, mirror caps installed from the factory. A previous video I put on the AMS when buffeting kit, but today we're going to be putting on a carbon fiber spoiler. Um, the one that I ended up getting was the Alpha Spoiler from A90 Shop. So let me show it to you. It's a, it's a beautiful spoiler in my opinion. Um, the one I got ended up being the standard carbon weave. They also make uh, what looks like a hexagon style weave spoiler. Um, it's really very beautiful on their website, uh, but it doesn't really match any of the carbon fiber that's currently on the Supra. So I chose not to get that spoiler. Um, it comes with uh, 3M tape, but it's not installed. They have you install it. Um, so I did install it and they have it measured out pretty good. Uh, I don't have the section right here uh, covered with the tape, but I, I wanted to focus on trying to get the outside edges of the spoiler covered with uh, tape because the ones that I've seen that have lifted, uh, it seemed like those were the areas, these outside edges were the areas that, that lifted. So that's where I concentrated. I don't envision having any, uh, any issues with this. Um, the biggest problem with the install is going to be lining it up properly. So I'm going to move on to uh, test fitting. And the wings installed. I'm just kidding. Um, before you can actually line up where the spoiler needs to go, um, I think it's important to go ahead and clean the surface first. Uh, of course, already cleaned uh, on the spoiler before putting on the 3M tape. Um, but need to clean the area um, because once you mark with your painter's tape, which would I suggest blue painter's tape, um, you're not going to be able to come back and thoroughly clean that area without probably peeling up the tape. So I'm going to set the spoiler aside. And just like in a previous video, um, isopropyl alcohol is what you would want to use. And then a clean microfiber cloth. You don't want to scratch the surface, but you're going to want to clean the area thoroughly. I would spray this onto the cloth and then onto the, put the cloth on the car, not spray on the car. Um, but you're going to want to uh, spray onto the rag and then Clean this surface thoroughly. When you wash a car, sometimes those washes have waxes in them. Um, or you may be detailing the car with a like a ceramic, a ceramic coating. Um, all those things are gonna prevent the 3M tape from, from sticking to the surface of the vehicle. So you want to remove those waxes and oils and quite frankly protectants that would be on the area to ensure good adhesion um, of the spoiler to the car. Okay, so what I ended up doing was placing like reference marks. So a reference here where the intersection of that corner is, this detailed corner here, just a general mark in the center to kind of know how far forward I need to go. And then on, the same on the other side. You want to take your time and make sure that it's nice and centered because you got, once it's there, it's there. So you want to make sure that the distance you have over here is the same as the distance you have over here. And I've measured numerous times it is to that to that edge. It is it is centered. Um, you just want to verify that you have centered it the best you can. Um, because once it's sticking and it's on there, it's going to become very difficult to remove. So, so I have prepared the spoiler and all of the tape to uh, be ready to install. You want to pull these edges so that they stick out. So when you stick it down to the actual car, you could pull it. I tape these back so they wouldn't flap over. And then on, let me see if I show you. On this piece, I put a one because this one needs to be pulled first. And then this one over here is also a one because it needs to be pulled first because they are in they're in the middle. So they need to be adhered first before I could start pulling the others. It's a little problematic right there. Um, 
but it kind of is what it is. I may transfer this to the back, but it's important that you label which one's the pool first so that you can, well, pull them first and not mess up the other ones. So, so I have all the other pieces pulled except for these last two pieces that are kind of long, but you're just wanting to slowly, don't pull too aggressively because you don't want to tear it. Um, just slowly pull the backer off. Slowly pull the backer off. There we go. And then this last one over here. It's good even pressure. Nothing too crazy. Slowly. All right. So all those are off. And I can see that it's still in place exactly where I left it. So what you're going to want to do is then put pressure down on all the spots around the spoiler to make sure it's adhered properly. And I would do it for 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back. So I'm, I'm sorry for the glare if you're seeing glare from my lights in the garage. But I noticed when I was pushing down on the hatch that the hatch seemed to move while I was trying to clamp these outside pieces on. Um, so if you lift your hatch and then you grab your hand on the edge of the spoiler and then press it together, you can get a firm clamp on, on the spoiler. So I, I, I think the fitment is good, but it seemed like the pressing that I was doing on the edge of the spoiler was just pushing the hatch, but not really clamping the spoiler to, to the hatch. So pop, pop your hatch and uh, then clamp it with your hands on both sides. Um, and then you can assure that you're getting good adhesion from all those pieces of double-sided 3M that's holding this to your vehicle. And here is the Alpha Spoiler from A90 Shop, uh, completely installed. It's looking good. I know I had made uh, a comment that I wasn't gonna put a lot of carbon fiber on the car, but I mean, this. This looks really good, and uh, I'm I'm excited uh, to have it on the car. Maybe maybe a carbon fiber hood or carbon fiber fenders are coming next. Who knows? Um, but again, I'm I'm wanting to do more installs on the Supra. Also, some work on the Eclipse as well. Also, um, some subscribers have uh, have uh, suggested me doing videos with the cars out on the road. So I'm gonna try to do that too. Um, I have a draggy um, to to use to try to capture some of the uh, information on how well the car is doing, how the well the car is progressing. So I'm wanting to get a baseline in uh, of what the car's performance is before doing any upgrades to it. So hopefully I can get that uh, to you guys uh, sooner rather than later. Um, but I hope this install was helpful for whoever's thinking of putting a carbon fiber spoiler. It's going to be similar for various types of spoilers, even the plastic or, or carbon fiber. They all kind of install the same way. Um, but if this was helpful, uh, please think of subscribing to my channel. It would help me out a lot. Uh, liking this video. And if you have any comments uh, about this or anything with my channel, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, but thanks for uh, visiting me at Grumpy Vet Garage and have a good one.